Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I have been busy and I couldn't post the videos. So for today's video, I will be unboxing the Masri X Civiline Mainnet Gouache Art Kit. And I hope I said her name right. Civiline, for those who don't know, is an amazing traditional artist who works with gouache, who collaborated with Masri to launch an art kit with her favorite art tools. And as soon as I saw she posted about it, I just knew I had to get it. I've been wanting a Masri sketchbook for so long, but I never got one. And also there are some art supplies in here that I really wanted as well. So I took the chance and I bought it. And I'm so happy I did. So um, once you open the box, there is a small note from Sibeline. And you can pause to read if you want to. So everything in this box comes in this gray Masri cloth bag. It's really cool, I guess. I don't know. And at the bottom is the sketchbook. It comes with a cute little note that says you have the strength to carry on. It's very nice. The sketchbook was picked by Sibeline and the cover was also designed by her. So uh, the first pages are for you to put your information. It also has an inspiration board to write down artists, books, movies, and other things that inspire you. You can also write down your values and beliefs as well as things you'd like to improve and achieve. So this paper has 300 TSM watercolor paper. I don't know if I said that right either. The paper is very thick and has a very nice texture on both sides. The sketchbook also has pockets, one on each end. There's also a sheet of stickers from Masri that says Shapes of You. So the supplies are packed in these cute paper bags with a smiley sticker. It's very pretty, very cute. I tried not to break them, but sadly they still did. I wanted to salvage them and keep them, but oh well. In the first bag, it brings the pencil orange mechanical pencil in the size 0.5 millimeters. Next is the Princeton Velvet Touch Brushes, the sizes Filbert 8, Linear, 10 Zero, and Round Zero, which I show later on. They have a very soft feel, they're super thin, super nice. It also brings empty washi tape to keep things clean. This is the other brush, very small. It also brings extra lead for the mechanical pencil in HB 0.5 millimeters and the Stedler Mars plastic eraser. The next pack contains the Holbein acrylic washes and I got a bit surprised because I thought they were going to be smaller, but they're pretty big. It brings 10 colors which are vermilion, light blue, deep yellow, primary black, shell pink, light apricot, ultramarine deep, blue green, burnt sienna, and titanium white. And these four are my favorite. I find these colors so pretty. In this box is the porcelain palette and it has a rough back so it doesn't slide around so much. It's shaped like a flower. It's very cute. Next is the gouache practice workbook. And inside of a pocket, it brings the guidebook. With an introduction to the tools, color study, tips, references, and step by step examples. The workbook has 24 sheets of 300 GSM watercolor paper to practice color swatching and practice painting on 65 illustrations done by Sibling 
like color exploration, brush practice, anatomy, fruits and flowers, everyday items, animals, portraits and landscapes, and full drawings. The kit also brings Sibylline merch. It brings four small note cards with envelopes, two sticker sheets, and two beautiful art prints. This is everything in the art kit. If you purchase this, you will get everything you need to make a gouache painting from scratch. For those who are new to gouache, it's important to know the difference between acrylic gouache and regular gouache. Acrylic gouache, like the Holbein acrylic gouaches, is a mix of plastic-based acrylic paint and regular gouache. It combines the characteristics of gouache and the permanence of acrylic paint. Once it's dry, you won't be able to rework it. Meanwhile, regular gouache, like the Himi Mia gouache that I mostly use, is consisted of natural pigments and is considered as opaque watercolor. When regular gouache dries, you just have to add water to it to rework it. When you're using acrylic gouache, it's best not to squeeze out too much paint in one go as it dries quickly and can't be reactivated with water. Since gouache is opaque, you can outline your drawing with a dark pencil or paint. That way, you can still be able to see the outline. It's also best to plan out what you're going to do first and not rush things to avoid making mistakes and wasting paint. Although, don't worry if you make a mistake, you can add layers to it. That's the great thing about gouache. What I did was that I made a sketch on Procreate and planned out the colors I was going to use. Since I was very nervous to use these, since it's my first time using them, I made a small version of it on my sketchbook, like a concept painting. Then I traced the drawing on the paper. I used a red color pencil. I forgot to use the pencil the kit brings, but I used it already. And so far, I like it. Although I'm not a big fan of 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencils because they're too small, but they're great for small details. So for this painting, I wanted to paint my siren OC in like a pond with a frog on her head. I had this drawing planned out months ago and I took the chance to use it for this. I made a very thin layer of paint for the background because it was the part that worried me the most. I was scared to make it too dark and then I slowly just added more layers. I love the brushes, they are so soft. My favorite is the round brush, and the small ones are perfect for details and outlining. I definitely need to practice with these smaller ones. The paints are super pigmented and opaque. I love that they have a really smooth finish. And I'll use these paints mostly for like finished paintings and not for practice or for fun. I definitely love these as well.
The ceramic palette is perfect. It doesn't get stained, well, at least with the gouache it doesn't. The paint comes off quickly, you just have to soak it in water. The paper doesn't crinkle at all and I'm in love with the sketchbook. The design on it is so beautiful and stunning. I will also use the sketchbook for finished paintings. And of course, the washi tape left the edges nice and clean and didn't damage the paper at all. I loved using all the supplies in the art kit and I'm super happy with the outcome of this painting. 
I had so much fun filming this and unboxing it. I hope to make more unboxing videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.